Hello everyone, Flame is back with the 18th episode of our Pokemon Yellow playthrough. Last episode I actually ended up saying it was the 16th uh, episode, but that's not the case. It's actually like it was the 17th episode I checked up now and I, it just shows like how late in the night it is right now that I'm recording that I'm starting to get the episodes messed up together. Either way, last episode we got through a bunch of uh, trainers, we worked our way towards the labyrinth here. After leaving Lavender Town and now we are just going to move along forward uh, towards Fuxia City. I still plan to try and give Shellshock a good amount of experience. I kind of want them all. See if I can get them all to around level 30-ish uh, before reaching Fuxia City. That way they won't be too far behind from each other. And the Pichota of course survives just barely. Hmm, seems like it's a speed tie between Shellshock and the Pichota. But yeah, a Spiro. It's not really going to be a huge issue or anything like that. Uh, the team is moving along quite nicely. There's no real issues there. This will probably be the team that I'll keep for the rest of the playthrough. I don't expect to change out anything. And I'm looking forward to it uh, to see what's going to happen here. We got the freeze, so we take less damage from the Fearow now. And it should be level up, I think. Yeah. Shellshot getting to level 29, which is super awesome. One more level, and we have uh, another PP up. This one I will probably use on. Shellshock's uh, Ice Beam. Because Claudia already has a good amount of Psychics going for her now, so it's not that much needed. And Shellshock just needs all the Ice Beams he can get at this point. Ice Beam is going to be like the bread and butter for him until he gets Surf. Once Surf comes, then we have two decent. Uh, moves that we can use to attack with. I kind of don't want to use Ice Beam on all of them here, if I can avoid it. I hope that Watergon is a two-shot. Eh, uh, just barely. I think. It might survive with a sliver of health. Okay. Because it would be kind of like a shame to use Ice Beam on everything when I just I basically restored the PP with an adder, so instead of going back and how to say and heal up the Pokemon. So it's uh, it would be better if I can just get through without having to use all my ice beams on PGs and Spearows and whatnot. I don't know why I used the uh, fight because Watergon won't do enough to take it out. The good thing about Shellshock is that it has high, super high defense, so they aren't like hitting super, super hard. I got a crit Watergon, which was really nice there. Saves the turn. There's another Spiro. And, um, yeah, we are, we are going to. We are, we are making progress slowly in this play, though. At this point, I might have put up uh, my other playthrough. I should. I actually expect my other playthrough to have come up at this point. And oh, mirror move, one of Not like it's going to hurt much. And I hope that you guys will enjoy that playthrough. It's going to be a super, 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 super long adventure. It will probably take me. Two or three, it will take me two or three. I actually expect it to take more than three months to finish up because I won't be able to do it every single day. So I'm actually quite sure it will take more than three months to finish up. And I'll have to do the. how to say? The. the 
the recording for that uh, adventure on the days that I'm working in the morning before going to work at least while I can which is uh, a little bit unfortunate but it's also something I kind of have to do otherwise I can't make new content to you guys so I'm pretty much I'm almost using every little bit of um, spare time I have to make recordings for you guys right now and I'm cutting a little bit down on my sleep as well so because it's it's something I really really want to make work with this channel here and I know it's not something that will happen overnight or anything like that but I'm getting a little bit impatient as well which is not something unusual I guess but it's also because I before before this year ends, I hope that I have at least 10, 10 subscribers on my channel. Uh, that's my goal for this year, to have 10 subscribers, because it's not a super well-known channel or anything like that, so, and I can't really advertise much with it. But I would still like to have like these, how to say, a little community at least. Uh, for now. Once I have maybe a great, once I have a bigger community or something like that, I will probably be interested in making a Discord or something like that uh, where I can keep track of things or something like that, or people can talk to me directly if they want to. Which would be super super awesome, I guess. So is Thunderbolt or I think a Thunderstruck should be enough for a PG, I hope. Of course it's not. Oh no, not not the uh, quick attack shenanigans. Sparky, please! We do not want to have a thing have Wow. Okay, fine. You know what, Sparky, if you can't beat the PG, you deserve actually to faint. It's a one sand attack, Sparky. Stop missing, for the love of God. You deserve that, Sparky, to be honest. This is like, that, that, that was like super, super tilting. That's what you get, Sparky, for being so annoyingly bad at hitting after one sand attack. Like, come on. Which means that we are going back to Shen Shock. It's just like things like that that's super annoying. Like that's why I, I kinda hate like evasive moves or accuracy moves and so on, because it's like it's just annoying. And uh, like I used quick attack four times and the PG got double crit, so it was like extremely unfortunate for Sparky. I was supposed, like Sparky was supposed to win that one, like hitting, missing quick attack four times in a row, that's just not okay, and because Sparky does that, then Sparky deserves to actually just stay fainted for now. I don't want, I don't want even to bother go, go back to heal or anything like that. That's by the way, that's how I am when I, once I get salty, then I'll just be like, okay, whatever. It's not like I, I, I hate Sparky or anything, but it's like... Sparky did that, it's the second or third time Sparky does this. And it's extremely tilting. Like, last time was in the first episode we were against our rival. We could have won that ba battle easily if Sparky had decided to at least hit one of the moves, but Sparky decided to miss like three or four times in a row as well. And we lost. And now we have this here, well, after one ten attack, and Sparky misses like 3 million moves and it's just it just annoys me I mean if Sparky can hit it and it doesn't matter in the first place either way don't have many water guns left either see now we get back to it like now we have the 
side attack problem again. Oh, wing attack, that's going to hurt a bit. Never mind. Yeah. And here it comes. Sand attack on sand attack on sand attack and quick attack. And let's see if it's going to be a crit. I hate sand attack. I hate sand attack so much. Going into Claudi. And Thunderbolt into Oblivion. And the same with the next one. Actually, never mind. I'll go to Shellshock because Shellshock needs uh, experience either way. Lily will be kind of left behind a little bit, but Lily also has a lot of water type Pokemon that I hardly see that can be beaten, so I'm not too worried about that. Shasha grew to level 31, there's withdraw, which is a move that doesn't really help me in any way, shape or form. So let's see here. Super potion on Shellshark. I don't think we get to the to the city. Actually, we can get to the city because I can dodge some trainers, cut around, and get to the city if I want to. But uh, will I do it? Probably not. Even though it would be kind of a shame because Sparky kind of could need this uh, experience here. So I'll probably dodge around, train us in a moment, and then get to the Fuxia CDC. Uh, Fuxia City Pokemon Center, and heal up there, and then I'll go back and deal with the trainers. Or go into the Safari Zone and. get rid of the stuff there. Let's see if I can. Go behind there. Over there. Go behind here. Cut the tree. I can go up here. I think there is a trainer somewhere here. Yeah. Shouldn't be too much of an issue here. I kind of want to like try and see if I can get into this fire zone and get the uh, surf if I can. Rockley should be able to take care of the Clefairy without uh, much issues as well. Uh, should be an item as well, so if I remember correctly, I can't remember what TM it is. If it's something useful, I might learn it to someone. If not, then I'll just. Yeah, it's Rage. I'll actually just toss it away. Uh, rage is absolutely useless in this version. And we arrived at Fuxia City. I still have a bunch of trainers that I have to deal with, but I kind of want to get through the. Fire zone as well. Not because the trains are an issue or anything like that, just because it's. Uh, I want to have Surf on Shellshock to make it easier then. Because then I'm not forced to use uh, Shellshock on flying types, which I would rather use Sparky for because. the. what's it called? 
the I want to leave up the water types for uh, Lily instead. For in exchange for getting somewhat behind now. So I can't remember if there's any good items in the Sapphire Zone in terms of TMs. Uh, but I want the uh, there's range and there is uh, what's it called surf and I want both of them. I need the item for strange at least. And um, welcome to the safari zone. For just 500, you can catch all the Pokemon you want in the park. Would you like to join the hunt? Yeah, sure. Why not? We only use a special Pokeball here. So I get the Safari Balls, well, we'll call you on the PA when you run out of time, or Safari Balls. So, as you can see, we are going to go through this without much issues. At least I hope so. I'm not really going to aim for the items or anything like that. I'll go straight, as straight as I can towards the thing. Unless I can see an item right laying around for me to grab. I know there's an item here. I'm surprised there's some... Oh, okay, it's a Urena. I have 32. I'll probably put Zippo in front, because Zippo's still at 34, and I do not believe there's anything that's higher than that. Team 37. Which is Egg Bomb. Which only Claudie can learn, but I might as well teach it Claudie. As a gimmick move. For instead of Mega Punch, I can teach Claudie Egg Bomb. Just for lols, I guess. Turn the item up here. Max Potion could come in handy. There's no repel effect anymore. A full restore. Now we have another repel effect. And uh, yeah. Like I said, it's not like I'm going to catch anything here or anything like that. It's just trying to get through this as fast as possible. As far as I remember, like, I do think this is the f way for it. And there's probably an item up here as well, somewhere. Here's TM40, which is... Skull Bash. Which I'll toss away as well. Skull Bash is not really useful either. It became a little bit better when they... That's the protein. When they... Made it so that your defense stat gets increased when using it. But before then it was kind of like a... Meh... Choice, I guess. You could say it like that. Uh, there were other attacks that were better. Body Slam, for example, were much better for Pokemon. A level 36 Nidoran. Okay, stand corrected. There are Pokemon of a higher level than Zippo. So, we should have the gold teeth here. And then we have the TM32 here, which is double team, which I'll toss away as well. I have so much money at this point, so it doesn't really matter about the money. Ah, finally, you're the first person to reach the secret base. I was getting worried that no one would win. Our campaign prize. Congratulations, you have won. 
And I got the HM4 Surf. And with that... Shellshock becomes much better. I would like to make a move. To need a move for Surf, which will be... Taggle. Then I have Surf. And I can leave unless I use up the time. So I can try and see if I can get some of the other items. I don't think so, but you never know. Let's see. 121 steps left. I mean, I don't mind this for Safari Zone either way or so, but. It's a little bit annoying, I guess, you could say it like that. The fact that they force you in here to actually get the HM is... Ah. I remember also haunting Chansey forever here. It was like super annoying because of the... It was really difficult to first of all find, and second of all it was even more difficult to catch. So it always took, it took like a huge amount of time for me to catch it, and once I got it... It was, it was actually pretty decent in terms of special stats, like the fact that specials are combined here makes Chansey pretty decent, because Chansey's special stats are not to be laughed at. And she's also pretty bulky, so that helped too. So, we got Surf now, we got the Golden Teeth, which I will go to the Warden and exchange immediately. I believe that Erika allows me to use Strange, I'm not sure. I know that the third team allows me to use Fly. But yeah, Flame gave the Golden Teeth to the Warden. The Warden popped in his seat. Warden, the thanks kid, no one could understand a word that I said. I couldn't work that way, let me give you something for your trouble. Which is HM4. Which is the HM for Strange. Which I know, I'm fairly sure Hitman Lee can learn that. Or Rock Lee. So I'll teach it to Rock Lee. And I'll use it on... This here so I can get the... Rare candy. And I think that will be it for this episode now. A uh, little bit shorter than usual, I guess. It's not the 25 minutes that I usually aim for. But that's how it will be for now. Uh, like and comment for f on this video if you want to or anything like that. Subscribe to the channel if you want to follow along on this adventure. All the adventures that I've already done or adventures that I plan to do. And that's going to be it for me today, guys. So take care, have fun, flame out.